Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, how much tea do you need for Gong Fu Brewing? In this video, I'm going to be giving you my tips on how to choose the amount of tea to use just by looking at the leaf. This video is going to go onto the Tea Masterclasses playlist. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more tea videos are going to come your way. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then go click that button. For those of you who don't know, Gong Fu Brewing is the style of brewing that is used throughout the Far East, and it is simply the best way to get a proper extraction from your tea leaves. It involves using smaller teaware somewhere in the region between 70 to maybe 180 or 200 mil. It involves using a lot more leaf to water ratio and brewing for a matter of seconds over multiple infusions. For those of you who don't do Gong Fu brewing, I really, really recommend that you start trying to do some Gong Fu brewing because honestly, for some teas, it is the only way that you can really appreciate the complex nature and extract all the aromatics of the leaf. And it is the only way that you can explore how the leaf develops as the water enters the leaf over many infusions. So let's begin. How do you know how much leaf to use? The more leaf that you use, the richer the tea is in terms of taste and in terms of texture and the more infusions you can do. Is it possible to have too much leaf? Absolutely. It would be difficult to do, but it's possible. Um, we're going to be flash brewing here. So when you're flash brewing, it's going to be a matter of seconds. And if you put so much leaf in that by the time the water hits the leaf and you've put a lid on the gaiwan or the teapot and you've decanted it, in those few seconds, if the tea has been extracted too strong, then you've used too much leaf. But it would be quite a difficult thing to do. In general, the more leaf you use, the better. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a tea seller. If you know that you are going to be only uh, available to drink tea over a few infusions, then you may want to reduce the amount because as I said, the more leaf you use, the more infusions you can do. So you want to be economical, obviously, with your brewing styles. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera around and we're going to go through each type of tea and I'm going to give you my tips on how much leaf to use. All of the figures that I'm going to be giving you today are grams per 100 ml pot. So what you need to do is get yourself a nice accurate measuring scale that can measure down to 0.1 grams. And then you need to find out the volume of your pot or gaiwan. The easiest way to do that is to just fill an empty pot with water decant that water into a measuring jug and then you can see exactly what the volume is. Now don't forget that you're not actually going to be brewing with that amount of water because the leaf itself is going to be taking up some of that volume. But if you take the volume of your pot, let's say it's 180 mil, then you would just take the figures that I'm giving you and multiply by 1.8. If it's a 200 mil pot, then you would multiply by two. If it's a 150 mil pot, you would multiply by 1.5, etc. So let's begin. We're going to start with green tea because green tea is made from the young leaves and the young leaves are the richest in terms of the amount of catechins and other aromatics in the leaf and therefore you don't need as much. So green tea is your lowest amount and I would recommend a good starting point for green tea is between 3 and 3.5 grams per 100 ml pot or guy one. If you have more dense tea like this long jing here which is flat and dense then I would be using something in the region of 3.5 grams. If you have more light tea like this, then I'd be using about three grams. Now that may sound a little counterintuitive, but if you imagine that you want to take, let's say 100 leaves, 100 leaves of the lighter tea would weigh less than 100 leaves of the more dense tea. So the lighter the tea, generally the less leaf you use. So this is three grams and this is 3.5 grams. So you can see visually the difference in terms of the density. Now, if you have a super light tea, for example, like a ho kui tea, like this, this is ho kui, this is a, a beautiful anhui green tea. This is very, very light, super light. So I would be looking at even less, something in the region of about maybe about two to 2.5 grams. But this is a very unusual tea. For the most part, all green teas, you'd be looking at between three and 3.5 grams of tea per 100 ml pot. Okay, next up is white tea. 
So white tea is made with young leaves, but it's also usually made with buds. So for white tea, we go from 3.5 to four grams of tea per 100 ml pot or guy one. Again, I'd be looking at the density. This white peony here is a little more fluffy, a little lighter than the silver needle here. And therefore I would be using a little bit less tea compared to the silver needle, but a good starting point, 3.5 to four grams. Okay, next is black tea. So black tea again is made with the young, the young leaves and buds, and so therefore requires again a little bit less tea than your other teas. So I would be sticking to between four and 4.5 grams. So we're moving up in 0.5 increments here. So four and 4.5 grams per 100 ml pot. Next up, we have oolong teas. Because oolong teas use larger leaves, they use third leaves and fourth leaves, those leaves have less concentration and therefore you need a little bit more leaf. So for oolong teas, I'd be going between 4.5 and five grams per 100 ml pot or guy one. So again, uh, we're increasing it by 0.5 grams. So 4.5 to five grams, depending again on density. So this Eastern Beauty here, is a lot lighter and fluffier. So I'd probably be looking at around 4.5 grams, but for the Dan Songs and the Wu Yi Yen Chas, I would be looking at around five grams. Next up is Pua tea. So for Pua tea, you have the cooked Pua tea here. So this is a Shou Cha, and then you have some raw Pua tea here. For pua tea, I think it's a very standard five grams. From what I have uh, experimented with, five grams is the right amount for pua tea per 100 ml pot or guy one. So five grams of pua tea. Last but not least is your bull rolled oolongs. So bull rolled oolongs are obviously more dense and therefore heavier. And I would recommend somewhere in the region of seven maybe up to 7.5 grams of bull rolled oolong per 100 ml pot or guy one. If you are brewing Western style, then I would recommend as again, a good guide, a good starting point would be to divide all of the numbers that I've just given you by about five or six. And then that will give you the amount to use per 100 ml if you are brewing Western style. And that is all you need to know. I hope that these guidelines make sense and I'll put them in the description below. Please remember that every tea is different, so this is just a starting point. But with these tips, I hope that you will be able to make an educated guess just by looking at the leaf on how much tea to use to gong fu brew successfully for a rich, flavorful and delicious brew. That's it, tea heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. Check out our YouTube playlist and let us know if there are any videos that you would like us to make. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden to say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions or comments, then please fire them over. Other than that, I'm Don May from Mayleaf. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from the tea bags, keep drinking the good stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye.